Okay, hello guys. Today I have the Electrogenesis Patient Monitor E12 for you. Okay, have a look. The multi parameter patient monitor E12, the model is E12. Okay, today the problem we have with this patient monitor is no display. When you turn it on, the screen is black. You can you can squeeze very, your eye very hard and you can see some uh, images coming at the background but it's not the light is not coming out so today what we have to do is to diagnose the problem and find out why the light is not coming on so let's turn it let's uh, disassemble and find the problem okay first of all let's turn it off then let's go. Let's disassemble. Okay, that's okay. Our screws are coming out easily as expected. Okay. Make sure you you always use the right set of tools the magnetized tip that will help you easily take out your screws okay so it's out then i'll disconnect the control panel off yeah that's the control the front case let me take out the screen also out. Okay. Okay, so now I have my screen off. So my screen is off. Let me disconnect the first cable. This cable is the one supplying uh, power to the uh, screen that turns on the light on. So we we'll have to check the socket here whether the voltages are coming out. Then this cable, the secondary cable, is the one that uh, sends in the image uh, from the picture board to the screen so this is the one sending the images to the screen and this cable is the one sending power to the led okay so first we have our screen disconnected so and we have all the cables also out so these are the things we have to do first of all we need to check here the voltage is here so the far end here is the negative cable we have the middle positive and also positive so we have the middle side is supposed we are supposed to have five volts and the last end we are supposed to have 12 volts here so if these voltages are coming on then we should suspect the screen we have the screen we have being faulty so first of all let's turn on the device without the screen being attached and check the voltage output so to check this problem we need we need a multimeter i have a very tiny multimeter here so we need our multimeter then we set our multimeter to dc volt we set it to 200 let me turn on my LED so okay so next thing to turn the patient monitor without the display so let me con connect my panel here back on then let me turn on the display so let's check here if it turns on there will be an LED that shows the device is on 
Okay, so we can have, you can see now that the device is on. Okay, so let's check the voltage output of the LED and see whether if it's working or not. So as I said, so I can disconnect the control panel off so that I can easily measure the voltages. So as I said, the far end, we are supposed to put the negative probe at the far end. I hope you can see. Far end, then the middle section, you can see that we have a voltage output. Oh, we, nothing. Let's see if we have a voltage output. Let's see. Our device is off. That's why. Right. Let's turn it on once again. The device is off, so. Let's turn it on back. So let's check the voltage output again. Okay, it's here. Then I hope you can see we have five volts in here. Then the last end is twelve volts, exactly twelve volts. So meaning the voltage output for the LED to turn on is coming and everything is in here is okay so this tells us that the picture board is giving the uh, required output so our problem is from our display the display is the one having problem so luckily I have already prepared for something like this so I have a similar I have a similar I have a similar picture board uh, display here ready so that is yeah I'm having a similar picture board here that will equally work so we can have a look here yes so we will mount the new screen on the patient monitor and see whether it works or not okay so to do that let's turn off let's turn off our patient monitor okay it's off and mount the new screen so to do that First of all, connect. Let's tilt it this way so that you can easily mount it on. So, connect our LED cable, connect the picture cable also on. Okay, so the next thing is to connect the F cable. And screw it down. Okay. Okay. Okay, this screen is ready now. We have the control cables also down here so let's fit these things on let's fit these things on to see this one so Let's put in this one also that we can connect to the control board and test the screen up. I'm doing this just to prevent 
any movement of the metal that we don't cause a, sh a short circuit. I'm done with my melting so let me turn it off. Okay, so we have this display connected. So let me connect back the control panel. Yeah, okay, so let's test it up and see. Let's see what happens. Wow, I hope you saw that flash. Yeah, so the screen is on. The problem is solved. Let's see if we can boot currently. Wow, everything is okay now. We can have a look. We have the NIBP, we have the temperature, we have the SPO2, we have the respiratory ECG, we have everything being displayed perfectly. Control panel, everything is okay. We have the alarm, everything, all controls are working perfectly. The freeze button, the BP, everything is in here, everything is working. So we are done with the problem, we solved the problem. So this tells us that. screen was is faulty the previous screen is the problem this one had the problem with the LED control the cable that supplies uh, power to the LED in the screen is the is having the uh, issue so we simply just change the screen and we are done okay so we'll tackle this problem later on in the next video so how to solve the problem how to solve this problem that's where we go deep down and solve the problem of uh, no display we can have images at the background but there's nothing coming up so we'll solve that problem in the next video so please subscribe and like the page and leave any comments if you don't understand anything okay see you next time bye bye